If you look at the piano keyboard, you see it's very large. Seven octaves, in fact. The few octaves right around the middle C get the most use, though. When devising a piano notation system, we want something that can easily represent those three octaves right here around the middle of the piano. How might we build this notation system? Three octaves is a lot to cover, so let's break this range down into smaller sections. If I use a five-line staff, I can represent 11 notes. That's a nice range, a bit more than an octave. Let's choose the 11 notes so that they're more or less the ones I can easily reach with my left hand. Now, I could assign any note to the first line. I could put G on the top line, or F, or E, or D, whatever. I'd like this staff to represent a range that I can more or less comfortably cover with my left hand, so I'm going to choose A as the top line, making this staff display the 11 notes from B, it's the B just below middle C, to this low F. And that's nice convenient now. I have all these notes here that my left hand can play all accounted for on this five line staff. So we have our five lines, and we've selected how we're going to assign the notes to the five lines. So now that we've made that selection, let's like lock it in. Let's put some kind of designation at the beginning of the staff to show what note assignments we've chosen. We only need to label one line, right? Because once a particular line is set, all the other lines and spaces just go in order. So we mark one line, we've designated the entire staff. Let's pick the second line to mark. So the second line is F. Let's design a really nice stylized F. And drop that right on the second line of our staff. See how the clef is sitting right there on the line for F, pointing to that line right between its little dots and labeling that line as the F line. So now that we've marked one line, we don't need all these other letters here because once we know one letter, we know them all because they're just in alphabetical order. So that's a good substantial range of pitches we've got our notation for here, but it's hardly enough, is it? I've still got all this other area of the keyboard here that I can easily reach with my right hand and I want to be able to visualize those notes on the staff as well. So let's expand this staff here. If we put just one more line, we can include middle C. So let's add that. And then let's extend this staff by another five lines. The letters just continue on alphabetically up from the C line we added. Awesome. With those six more lines, we can show 12 more notes. So now we're really covering this whole three octave area that I can easily reach. But you know, now that our staff is so big, that one landmark really isn't enough. Let's label another line so it's easier to get our bearings when we're reading this giant monster staff. Let's label the fourth line from the top, the G line. So we'll make our pretty stylized G and drop that on the fourth line of our staff. See how it's like, it's kind of like X marks the spot, right? Where that little in that little bullseye where the G clef crosses the staff inside that little bullseye is right on the line of G. So now that we've marked that line, we can reckon all the other notes from there. We don't need all these letters on here. So now we have this grand 11 line staff that covers over three octaves from two Fs below middle C to two Gs above middle C. Pretty nice. The only thing is 11 lines is really more than you can keep track of visually. I scan up and down the staff, I kind of get lost. I can't instantly recognize what's like, you know, the fourth line from the top. There's just too much going on here to easily pick out individual lines. So let's break this up visually, add some space between the top five lines and the bottom five lines, stick a brace here to hold everything together, get rid of that line in the middle. That opens up some nice possibilities I'll talk about in a later video about ledger lines. And there's the grand staff a convenient system for notating the piano's large range of pitches. I'm planning to expand this channel with lots more educational videos like this one, so please subscribe and consider supporting my work with a donation to the PayPal link in the description. Bye!